I knew early on this is what I wanted to do, and it all started back in 1985 with a nine-year-old named Tommy Ho. Rick is one of the best motivators that, that I've ever come across. When I think of Rick and the impact that he's had on my life, my parents clearly had the largest impact, but he was the second most important figure throughout my, my junior career, and everything that I am today really comes from everything that I learned from you go through the, the list, it's just a who's who of tennis players. The passion that he puts you know, in the kids to play the game, I think, is probably uh, his, his biggest contribution. He's an extraordinary coach. He's not ordinary, he's extraordinary. He has a way of bringing intensity to the court, and you kind of develop from there and start bringing your own intensity. He's just an amazing coach, and I would never want to leave. His work ethic is, is just unsurpassed. He really gets the maximum out of everybody, and everybody knows that. He has a way of bringing whatever's in your child out. He really understands children and how to get the best out of them, even on their worst day. He's an impassioned coach, and you can tell this is what he was meant to do with his life. Work hard, run for every ball, all of the Macyisms on the sign, he implements into his way of teaching, which also transfer to life. It's some of the, the most important aspects that are transferable to other things outside of tennis. If I've helped the kids, you know, get off medication or clean their room better or do better in school, I know I've made a difference. So he's been a, a great mentor over the years and, you know, when you, when you have a coach like that, it's, uh, you know, you, you consider yourself lucky. Oh, there's much more than tennis, you know. He helps kids get better grades in school and it all just comes back to the attitude and the mental part and just how you view life. And I know he always says that, flip it in your mind. Like, yeah, all the billboards are his quotes that he just comes up with. I'm surprised some of them don't rhyme because most of the time the stuff he texts me, they're rhymes. Him growing up, it was pretty hard and he really just started from nothing and he built his way up to where he is right now and I know I'm sure he probably used all of this stuff along the way and seeing Venus, Serena and Richard I could just tell it made him really happy. Richard when we saw him he just kept saying thank you so much you took us out of the ghetto. <laughs> so he wakes up and then 4 a.m. in the pitch dark he starts running around the neighborhood like a madman. I never knew that he did that and I'm driving to Starbucks at like 4.30 and I just see someone running and I realize it's him. So I drove next to him and he's just running 4.30 in the morning, let's go down the street. Just so structured. I always tell him he's like an alien because he's the closest thing I've ever seen to perfect. He's never late, he's always early. Like he just really doesn't mess up. He never forgets anything. Like it's crazy doesn't forget anything. Even when I met Venus and Serena for the first time at the premiere in LA, they were telling me, they're like, we prepared him. We prepared him to be a father. I don't think anything changes him. I feel like he's the type of person that uh, he'll forever be humble and forever have a heart of gold. And no matter what level he gets to, he's not going to change, you know? You could be a great tennis player, but if you are not strong mentally, it doesn't matter. So when people come on the court with Rick, it's not a tennis lesson, it's an experience. Yes, he's teaching you the forehand, he's teaching you the backhand. So Rick has extracted greatness from me. That's how I'm able to be his partner, right? He believed in me. Every person, I know he's probably said this multiple times on camera, but people ask him who's his favorite player. It's the person who's across from the net. And that's his answer every time because it's the truth. You know, people show up six, seven, eight in the morning. Why is he out on the court all day? Because he has passion. I've done this for a long time and I evaluate talent in all sports. A lot of times people can look at a ranking or they can kind of look how big someone is or, you know, just what experience they have. And I don't really go there. Did the parents play any type of sports? You know, whether it be football, baseball, basketball, hockey, maybe the footwork's already baked in extra crispy, the jumping ability, you know, the environment that you're brought up in is huge. You don't want to pamper someone. You have to be rough, you have to be tough, you have to have an amazing work ethic. And even with Venus and Serena, when no one really saw it, okay, on the outside, there was arms and legs and hair and beads flying everywhere. Uh, and when people see those videotapes of Venus and Serena at nine and 10, I've had literally tens of thousands, not hundreds, tens of thousands of people saying, 
my kids better than that. And think about it. One's going down as the greatest player to ever pick up a racket, and the other probably would have been the same way if she wouldn't have had to play her sister. So how does that even go into the thinking? You know, it's what I saw under the hood. I know how to extract greatness, and I know how to push buttons, and I know how to get the most out of someone. And uh, they can be dead tired, and I can flip the script, and all of a sudden make something fun. They're not tired anymore. The best of the best of the best of all the rest are the most positive individuals that ever walk the face of the earth. You know, I love working with Rick and also the players here. You know, it's not just, they, when they come here to play, they're playing tennis and they want to be here. You cannot make, you cannot do certain things with each kid the same way as you do with the other one. He finds a way to get around certain things. And when you throw them at Rick or if you even ask Rick himself, he'll tell you exactly what to do. And then you're looking at like, what is this? What is he doing with this? Where is he going with this? You know, so you learn how to be, you know, creative at the same time, but like, you know, not one-sided or not, not just be like seeing things as a final result, but looking at things as ways to be flexible, to work around things so the player can change themselves and become better. The reason he's a Pied Piper and um, just a, an absolute genius at developing young players. Look, a lot of fun. Everybody who talked about Rick Macy, uh, including Serena, the first thing they said is, you know, it was it was among the funnest times in their life. Just playing for Rick was was fun. So uh, I just wanted to keep these amazing young women who played these roles. I wanted to keep them laughing, keep it fun, and you know, with the uh, the bowl cut and the mustache and the short shorts, it was uh, it, it was it was fun to keep it fun. Eight Grand Slam champions have been coached by him. Five players ranked first place. 322 USTA National Championships, 52 Grand Slam Championship wins, seven-time USPTA Coach of the Year, four Hall of Fame inductees, and in 2017, he was the youngest ever to be inducted into the USPTA Hall of Fame. Andy Roddick, he coached. Jennifer Capriati, he coached. Maria Sharapova, which he may ask for a number, he coached. Serena Williams, he coached. Venus Williams, he coached. Rick is one of the best motivators that, that I've ever come across. He wrote me letters almost every day talking about, you've got to dream big. You're going to be playing professional tennis and I was 10 years old. I felt like I could do anything. Listen to me. I'm going to tell you, if you have a great attitude, no matter what, winning, losing, attitude determines altitude. If you have a great attitude, you can do and be whatever you want. Deal? The best of the best, any sport, the most positive people, never making excuses. If it's really, really windy, what are you going to think? I love the wind. I love the wind. If it's super hot, what are you thinking? I love hot. That's the way you got to think. You got to flip it in your mind. Greatness changes things in your mind. Never make excuses. If you make excuses, what happens? But the good thing is, you can change. How can I make things better today and make the world a better place? Attitude determines altitude. If you have a great attitude, you can do and be whatever you want. I'm Rick Macy. I've been doing this uh, a long time, about 40 years. I love getting up and being on the tennis court. I just love to hit the ball. I love the sound of the ball hitting the racket and just fell in love with the game. Trying to bring the best out of everybody. Try to inspire people to get people one more, one more. You can do more. There's so much more inside of you. And then you try it and then maybe you have success and you get the big C, which is confidence. And then you can do anything. People ask me all the time, who's your favorite student? Which is ever on the other side of that net today, this hour, that minute, that second. And they were expecting it to be Venus or Serena or Capriati or Roddick. I, I like everybody. That's really how I feel. One of the most uh, revered in the history of the game, even guys like John and Pat McEnroe, send their kids to Rick Macy down in Boca. Yeah, you know, everything in life is in the eye of the beholder. And I tell people what you may see might be different than Rick may see. So there's a whole different... Hey, I like that. So, no, there's this... And, no, you know, I had Capriati for three years, you know. She was the most dominant junior player ever, won the national 18s as a 12-year-old. So my blueprint for greatness was probably like nobody in the world.
Set the racket, go. You're on fire, how'd you do that? When you're a teacher, whether it be in a classroom, at a school, or on a tennis court, or you're a role model. You know, you're a father figure, people look up to you. And I take tremendous pride in that. I love that shot. The Texas wood chipper, I like that. It's so rewarding, simply because you're making a difference in people's lives. And I tell everybody this all the time. They go, who's your favorite player? of all time. And I, I'm very honest about this. Who's ever on the other side of the net, that hour, that minute, that second. Go back, work the legs. Jump back, jump back. Hello. Ready for this? Catch it in your hat, water. Catch it in your hat, water. Guy's thirsty. Water. The players can feel that. And so you're gonna get them to run a little quicker, listen a little better. And when you can get them to do that, that's a sign of a great coach. When you have your own business, I'm very much hands-on. I'm very much a people person. I had one goal in mind, and that was to make this the number one public park in the country. We've turned this place into Disneyland and Candyland. There's activity all the time. I've never had a lesson, and here I am at 867, and I probably teach more lessons than anybody in the United States. Let's get out there, make today your best day ever. Let's go, let's go, get your butt out there. Let's go, let's go. Keep the hand in front. Good, way to let the racket take you there. I knew early on that I like helping others more than helping myself. I just wanted to coach. Come on, strong get stronger, the weak get weaker. Move. I'm positive. Legend. Pioneer. Go! Pushing! Smart! Energy. Fun. Humble. Legend. Miyagi. Inspiring. Amazing. Special. Genius. Superstar. Genius. Best. Iconic. Dedicated. Special. Dedicated. Passionate. Energy. Uncanny. Serena. Wizard. Go. Energy. Final. Positive. Motivator. Positive. Wizard. Caring. Unique. Greatest. Genius. Humble. Go. Communicator. Incredible. Emoji. Stylish. Funny. Inspirational. Communicator. Energy. Humble. Expert. Motivate. Bang. Wow. Entertaining. Dad. 